So, I just want to show off the latest tank I have finished on Sprocket, which is the Panzer Kofog and Tiger Ausrung E. And I, uh, since it's the newer version, we get the add on structures here. And I basically use that and really, really to its uh, most effective amount, really. As you can see, I mean, it's everywhere. And it made it possible for me to make an incredibly accurate depiction of the Tiger E. And so I'm just going to show, you know, the complete 3D showing of all the sides here. And along with that, I've also done the proper realistic uh, specs, or at least as close as you can in this rocket in the current version. And it's still an alpha, so I think it made Hopefully the design does not get completely destroyed at some random point here. But and I've also done mostly realistic uh, interior. I haven't really done all the details, but the important stuff, like crew members, petitions, and positions of uh, transmission, engine, and everything. I can the fuel tanks here. Engine, powertrain, through the front into the transmission, ammo on the side, and so on the floor here. And of course, it said there's petitions where they were in real life, same thickness and everything. Basically, get all the thickness on the outside of the tank correct as well. And most of this I've done again through through the add-on structures. And uh, definitely tried my best here, try to get as accurate as possible, and this tank has probably taken me about 40 hours of work so far, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, and there are other problems of course, which I can't really help at all, like how the tank is over 10 tons lighter than the actual Tiger. But that's due to sprocket simply not being able to keep up with the proper weight when I do the proper details and the same armor thicknesses and everything around the tank. But all the same, it's still pretty good. There are other details like can't get the proper amount of roll wheels on here due to limitations posed by sprocket. Like, I can't have proper eight wheels on each side or at least the uh, rows because if I did then it would have a wheel popping out in the front and it's actually a wheel going in to the second row deeper than other ones and it would look really weird so I had to limit it to 7 and again the weight and the gun itself also has higher penetration around the same muzzle velocity zero one try my best to get it down but this is what we were left with and another problem with I can't control is as you can see here around the exhaust we get a lot of issues a lot of these like weird texture issues which I can't change at all and I have to just wait until it gets updated and fixed so I'm hoping that will be sooner than later but honestly, I don't think it takes away from the tank too much. And as you can see, here's some extra details, engine bay details, or the back of the engine bay. Did as many details as I could other than the tools, but all the other stuff I did. And I mean, I get really down to it. It's individual screws, or uh, bolts in this case. Um, I did utilize the rivets feature where we can get these uh, various different kinds of rivets which I could use to put these all on there to make it look very good. So I'm glad that we got that feature now. And I mean as you can see here, I mean put I mean again it took me forty hours or so. I mean it's not one hundred percent accurate or anything, but I definitely think it's pretty close to the actual real deal here and I mean took a while to say the least for all these little details but 
I enjoy doing it, and I'll probably continue to work on more tanks with the same level of realism, and uh, post them here as well when they're finished. So, now I can, I'm gonna sell it off, actually, driving in the other sandbox menu. So, here we go in the sandbox. Now, it's kinda boring, you know, getting grassy plains or anything, but I think it will still do the job. So, I did try to get it as accurate as I could. Accurate turn rotation, accurate speeds, accurate, accurate reverse speeds. The only thing that isn't really too accurate is the turn rate, but it's still acceptable. And, you can see the gunner's optic is actually within the gunner's optical. You start doing that. Cover details are like, uh, that hatchet will actually explode. Or have the fire effect coming out of it because even if they are made by add on structure, that means they put the normal hatch model underneath. So you can see that. Oh, I just lost my gunner. That's really unfortunate. But I'm gonna shoot my team again, so the effects that come out means the hatch is as well. If they're affected, the so most rounds are not very effective. That's about it. I'm going to continue to work on these other tanks, and if you have any type of tank su suggestions from World War II, I would gladly like to make them. So I'm off on the channel as well. I do want to make a allied tank, but I also make more German tanks or Axis tanks in general as well because I really also like them. So I will kind of do this and. Just you can stick around to see whenever I post next, and uh, see ya.